guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel today's video is an um, unboxing PR uh, giveaway win <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I want to show you these palettes and I'm also going to be chucking just maybe a few things on my face that I haven't really tested out enough um, other than when I first got them. So, we are going to play with this Ioni Blush Sophie or Glam Rose. This is how it looks. And then on the back, it has, whoops, see how it says... Um, Glam Rose, but it says Sophie on this side. I have another shade, but I don't know what. I think I put it in my actual purse. But I want to pop this on, and I'm going to try the Sigma, the Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette. And that's what that looks like. And I want to see if I can get a really good contour shade. So I'm going to play in that a little bit too. I haven't really done much with this palette. But, um, or this, except for when I um, opened them. But, also, I wanted to um, get to these palettes. And... For the eyes, I, I threw on a um, just a, a brown in my crease. I don't even remember what I used. It's I, I did it hours ago. Um, but anyway, I put something on the eyes so I could go in. Now, so. I, I, these are from Sass Cosmetics, St. Angel Centers, and I got the um, Secret Center Society. Now, this palette came, and I don't have any luck much with black shadows. Um, a lot of times, those are the shadows that will break or um, get crushed and this one a hunk of it maybe you can see right in here it came out and it did it in another one of my I think the last palette I got from Darcy the black was messed up which that doesn't bother me at all that is not a color that I can't pick up a million palettes and find a black. Um, however, let me tell you, this puppy is pigmented. I mean, pigmented. So, I'm glad I was able to savage it a little bit and, and uh, clean it around. And I will insert swatches of all of these palettes um, at the very end. But this is so neat. This is such a grungy color story. And I love it. I really do. You've got some transitions, some deepening. Obviously, you know, the black and these three um, shimmery colors beautiful so I got that and I got this one which is the pearls this was a palette that I did not have, and uh, Darcy sent this to me, and it means so much because I open it up, and it 
it looks like this this will be I do have a uh, video of this and uh, Darcy put it up on her um, IG and Facebook I believe uh, or TikTok I don't I don't TikTok but um, these are beautiful I absolutely love the meaning behind this palette there is a um, Miss Lorraine Johnson Coleman shade right here um, who if you don't know who she is I will link her Instagram um, information I don't think she has YouTube I know she has Instagram you guys please go give her a follow she's an absolutely wonderful 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 um, beautiful soul and who ironically lives on the other side of the country from me but as we were talking we are from the same area out of all the people that I interact with it is just I don't know I get drawn to these people and I can't quite put my finger on it and then you know as our conversations go forward we see that you know it's like oh wait a minute so at any rate this is a very special palette to me and um i will be creating it won't be tonight but i will be creating a look with this um specifically i will i will i will swatch it Let's see if you can. It's a beautiful shade. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, but this is an entirely uh, duo multi chrome palette. There are no mattes in here. And <clears throat> last but certainly not least, we have the makeup and shield palette and that is her they're beautiful 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 this one I have not swatched this is the one that I said that I will try to get um in the morning I will try to put some swatches uh, in the video in the sunlight gosh I just don't know what color to go with they're all I just I, I love these I think for I think I'm going to go mm, I'm gonna go in the pearls palette and I'm going to get the shade. Um, let's see, what did I do? It's a little brown, but you know what? I want to go in with this shade right here. Be kind. Oh my God, beautiful, beautiful. So that is what I'm going to do. And like I said, I just put some um brown uh, a brown shade and uh stuck it in my crease and that this is it picked up on the brush um and it's this shade right here be kind i have used this shade this shade <laughs> i'm looking at it in the monitor and it is burgundy um, I'm looking at it in one of these so now I think you guys see purple and I see looking in my mirrors over here I'm seeing um, rust a rust color <laughs> but when it come back to when it come back when it comes back to me it is green oh love it I and I have used the shade and I absolutely love it. 
and we'll use it again. And that is really pretty. Maybe we'll do one eye, one color, and one eye, another color. I think that would be fun. So we have this. Let me let me spray this a little bit and see if I can intensify it. On these crappy eyelids. See you can see the switch. The switcheroo on it. <laughs> now let's put on Let's get a little bit on this. Let's let's pull out of another palette. Let's see. What do we want to go with? Um. Hmm. Let's go in with this shade. And I'm just going to use that same. I actually need to use this side. Okay. To do this eye. And I'm going to spray it again because I didn't put any glitter glue on. The darkness is there, I promise. But there is some fallout. But that's because I did not wet the brush before I went in. So, four. I gotta make sure I'm getting the right side. I'm just gonna go over that uh, last shade I put with the first one. combination of the two of them so for this eye we're gonna stick to the pearls palette before I want to do a dedicated look with the uh, Secret Center Society and let's go in let's go in with this color which Let's see. I'm getting orange. And this may just be a shimmer shade. Versus um, a uh, shifty, shifty shadow. And let's wet the brush. A little bit different. Um brush wetter. <laughs> Ooh. This one is, I definitely feel the fallout on this. But I also didn't put any um, kind of base down. pretty. I like this color. I don't think it shifts. I have multiple mirrors. 
to try and capture the shifts. Um, let's put this shade. Let's, we'll just go with this blue. This is in the shade Listen. So I'm going to take that shade and put it um, on the outer parts of my eye. That is very pigmented and I do think this is going to be one that probably needs glitter glue but it's too late and I'm too tired to fool around with glitter glues. Just keeping it real with y'all. Alright, let's pop this blue. <clears throat> That is a pretty blue. I am purposely not putting a lot. I didn't know if it would be patchy or more flaky, but it's not really good. Because even though I'm not really getting a lot of shift, in this part like I, I can with this I mean I can it's three different colors by putting that blue on the end it I'm still getting that illusion that I've got some shifty 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 shades but what I am gonna do is go over everything with my finger doesn't take hardly anything and let's see let's go on this side with finger into oh gosh did I use this one or this one oh, this one <laughs> I'm going to see I got a little bit on my hand I'm just going with what I had on my brush just to uh, finish this eye. I think I picked the wrong color up. But you know, it's a happy little accident. It's what we're going what's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> now I'm going to clean this up a little bit and I will be back and we'll try few more products alrighty I'm back and um, you know just kind of cleaned up around the edges the um the fallout and uh, tried to just make them a little bit more cohesive on you know each eye or whatnot I know they're different but I, I do like the palette overall though you know they were bad choices for me to try to put together, um, especially on this eye. But we made it work. We, I'm trusting the process. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this little blush. The one that was a dollar. And I do know they are very pigmented from trying them the first time. So I'm going in with a duo fiber blush brush this one is from Sigma and it is a 
F15. I don't know if this is still, if they still sell this. This is a very pigmented blush. Now, I don't have any uh, creams or, or even, well, I do have concealer, but I used a powder foundation um, or a pressed powder. I used my, um, I did use um, my Ofra concealer under my eyes, um, just in various spots, and then I just went back with my powder and just did my whole face, whoops, did my whole face with the, uh, the pressed powder, and that, I did that, it's in, again, like I said, several hours, and I, I meant to film a lot earlier than I did. I didn't get all the fallout from here, but that's fine. We, we, I'm not going anywhere. I know that there's fallout, and I know that this blush blends a lot better on a, um, more of a, I don't want to say wet base, but hydrated. <laughs> so, okay. Now, <clears throat> let's go in with the Sigma one. Okay, I found my brush that I use, and <clears throat> I just, actually, there was a little bit of um, bronzer on it, and I just kind of went over that blush again to diffuse it a little bit, but I'm going to go in with... <clears throat> this shade right here which is faking it <laughs> and I'm going to see this really isn't the brush I want to use uh, I'm going to go with this ended from the KVD shade and light contour kit and mm, this was a clean brush my problem is always getting too much and I kind of just want to put a little bit back here I don't like how this is not blending so I'm going to Wish me luck. Go in with this bronzer brush, which I use because I'm, and I was going in with the light hand with this because this is just a super pigmented. And I'm not a really big fan of this palette I, I wish that I was but I'm not their blush palettes yes absolutely but I think that's why they have this palette on sale major sale um, all of the time because it's just not it's just kind of patchy on me I feel like but uh, and I am wearing um, a Jeffree Star Cosmetics lippy in uh, unicorn blood I think you know I just felt well, I want to go for a dark and vampy lip to go with this trying a new makeup unboxing video. <laughs> um, let's see, do I have a new blood, I mean a new highlighter? Um, 
we'll stick with this palette. I'm going to mix these two together and see what I come up with. I can tell you that um, I own on this a blush palette, the Corte Rosa blush palette, and um, the highlighter palette. Oh, I've got a, a few singles of the Sigma um, highlighters, and they're so good. I can't say enough about them. They are that good. Wish me luck, because I sure loaded up this brush, which... Is this in my brush? This is the High Cheekbone Highlighter, the F03. And, ooh. I'm not doing anything to my brows or my, um, I'm not putting any lashes on. not put any lashes on. When have y'all ever seen me put lashes on? I meant mascara. <laughs> it's late, y'all. It's one o'clock in the morning. All right. Hm. Here we go. My thoughts. These palettes... I love I know that you guys probably or you know think you always say this about every eyeshadow palette you get and there is so much truth to that and then I do say that but it's also the truth of how I feel I, I absolutely just get such a thrill and joy out of just colors and artistry and it just brings me to a happy place and I'm so proud of that so I, I'm I'm not gonna fuss at myself for being repetitive when I find a product that really does light my fire for lack of a better word and you know, I, I say my shimmering, shiny, shaped, shifting shadows. That just, it just puts me in a happy place. But at any rate, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, my setting is not where I want it to be. So um, I have to make do with what I have. Uh, so at any rate, I'm going to end the video. I hope everyone is having a beautiful, wonderful day. Hope everybody's having a beautiful, wonderful week. And as always, be beautiful, be kind, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.